Patterned flow cells consist of a nanowell substrate with millions or billions of ordered wells. The uniform cluster sizes and fixed nanowell spacing increase cluster density to prevent overclustering. Although overclustering is not possible, loading a library with a suboptimal concentration negatively impacts run data. Hello, I'm Tim Gilmartin, a field application scientist with Illumina. In this video, we will discuss preventing and diagnosing common clustering issues on pattern flow cells. How can you tell if a run has been over or underloaded? The percent occupancy, percent passing filter, percent greater than Q30, and percent duplicates metrics are the best tools available to identify if a run is underloaded, optimal, or overloaded. In this chart, you can see how these metrics will deviate. The low, medium, and high designations are meant to be relative to typical metrics seen on an instrument. While the specific ranges for these metrics do vary by instrument type, here is an example for a NovaSeq. If optimal cluster density generally produces 85% occupancy, 75% passing filter, and 80% greater than Q30, then a run that shows an increase to 98% occupancy, a drop to 70% passing filter, and to 55% greater than Q30, would suggest the run was overloaded. This next plot is an excellent way to visualize the relationship between percent PF and percent occupancy metrics. For this plot of example data, each individual data point records the overall percent occupancy compared to the percent PF from a single sequencing run. The white region shows how the metrics perform when the instrument is underloaded. The green region is where the instrument is loaded optimally, and the red region shows overloaded flow cells. Note that some data points in the red region may still maintain expected levels of percent passing filter, but some will fall well below desired levels. Runs with such a high percent occupancy will have a much higher chance of their percent PF falling below the level where specifications for data output can still be met. The red dots indicate where this has happened and represent overloaded flow cells. Overall, percent clusters passing filter tend to increase directly with the percent of wells occupied until occupancy hits a breaking point. After this breaking point, percent PF and the resulting output drops dramatically. Following a sequencing run on a patterned flow cell, users can assess if their run was loaded at an optimal concentration by reviewing these percent occupied and percent passing filter metrics. For high throughput platforms like NovaSeq 6000, use Sequencing Analysis Viewer, SAV, or BaseSpace to find overall percent PF and percent occupancy metrics for your run. For lower throughput platforms like iSeq 100, percent occupancy and the percent PF will be displayed on screen in the instrument control software during the run. When looking at data in SAV, users can create a plot of percent PF relative to percent occupancy for all the tiles on a flow cell. The shape of this plot can help identify if the run was underloaded, optimally loaded, or overloaded. Here's how to generate this plot. Compare your percent PF versus percent occupied plot to these examples. If you find your run appears to be under or overloaded, adjust the loading concentration accordingly. Also, make sure to review guidelines for library QC and quantification discussed in the Cluster Optimization Overview Guide. Consistent optimum clustering can be challenging, but by understanding how to diagnose suboptimal clustering events and how to correct them when they occur, you can dramatically reduce the time spent optimizing your sequencing projects. We hope this video contained helpful information about diagnosing common clustering issues on pattern flow cells. If you need additional guidance, you can reach out to Illumina Technical Assistance or the local support team. Thank you for watching and for being part of the Illumina community.